What's up, man? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Drake, man. Back with another video. If you haven't already made videos, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you join the family. You know what I'm saying? Come dropping really, really important content. You know what I'm saying? Other content as well. Also, taking you guys along my journey. So, I want you guys to, you know, come along with me. You feel me? Yeah, man, this topic today, man, we're just gonna talk about um, mental health. And it's really important that we talk about this because it's not really discussed in today's society as much as it should be. Um, Cause it's really, really important that your mental health is, you know, where it needs to be. Especially as an athlete, I'm gonna speak on myself too and let you guys know how I overcame, you know, and how I helped my mental health get better than how it was. So, um, yeah, man, make sure you sit back, man, hit that like button, subscribe button, man, and, and come join me. But um, we gonna get started, man. But uh, overcoming mental health as an athlete is really, really, you know, important, especially um, if you're in college, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you're in high school, coming, going to college. It's really, really important that you keep it on top of your mental health, you know, cause it really can impact your performance, you know, um, it can impact your health, you know, just overall health um, and stuff like that. So making sure your mental health, you know, where it needs to be, you know, is really, really important. Um, that, that means, you know, make sure you, you know, taking care of yourself, you know, make sure you do like, you know, self-care activities and stuff like that, um, just to help you, you know, just small things that, you know, that will, you know, improve your mental health um, for her on out uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, going to my story, um, I think I overcame, I think I started, you know, experience mental health, you know, ever, ever since the pandemic hit, you know, um, being a college athlete myself, um, and, you know, going into my senior season and hearing that, you know, my season is going to be ending um, due to, you know, the spread of the pandemic and stuff like that. So that really took a toll on my mental health. Um, yeah, I didn't really know how to, to attack it, if that makes sense. Um, I was just focused, mainly focused on, you know, what's next, you know, what I need to do, you know, how am I going to, you know, you know, stay, stay in shape, you know, take care of myself, you know, when, you know, when we're going to play again, you see what I'm saying, you know, and my senior season, um, unfortunately, um, it got canceled, so, you know, I, I definitely, I came back for another year, um, the past season, that was my, like, my fifth year, but technically, um, it was my, my, my fourth year, but I came back for another year, um, and it was the same thing, you know, in the spring, you know, we had to wear our masks during practices, and, you know, we had to, you know, have separate practices, you know, DBs with the DBs, receivers, you know, we didn't really have one-on-one, seven-on-sevens. Um, it, it took time for that to develop um, just cause, you know, the colleges, you know, requirements on just keeping everybody safe and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I think it's really important, you know, that you really take, you know, good care of yourself, you know, just, you know, small things like self-care activities, you know, talking to your family, close friends, you know, people that you love, you know, making sure that, you know, they're aware of, you know, your health as well. I mean, I understand that, you know, as men, you know, only be strong, you know what I'm saying? No one to just, no one should just, you know what I'm saying? Like just, you know, brush everything off and stuff like that. But, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, that's not healthy at all. You know, I was the type of person, you know, to just say, all right, I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, I'm good, I'm good. And brush it off, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, as you get older, you realize that like, that wasn't healthy. You know, I realized that it wasn't healthy, you know, because, you know, I experienced it all four years in college, you know, just um, just realizing that, you know, my mental health was not where it's supposed to be, you know, and I, I know I should have took, you know, extremely care of that. Um, but, dang, it's hot here, my bad. But yeah, man, uh, I think, you know, mental health really, kicked in for me, you know, this season, you know, the beginning of the season in the summer, you know, as you all may know, summer camp as, as in football, as a football player, you know, summer camp is rough. You feel what I'm saying? Summer camp is really rough, you know, and, and it's really important that you, you know, stay in touch with your family, you know what I'm saying? Talk to your, you know, teammates, your boys, your coaches, especially, you know, because it's just y'all, it's football 24 hours of the day, you know what I'm saying? And just studying and, and practicing and, you know, weightlifting, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna take a toll on your mental health, and especially not seeing your family for, you know, however long, um, because once you're done camp, you're right into school, you know what I'm saying? And the first break, it's fall break, and it's like not even till like 
on my insure like maybe October, December. Like I realized that you know I was hurting you know mentally um, because I ain't ready to see my family. You know I didn't see my family you know in, in like three months. I mean they come in the games, but you know seeing them for like an hour, not even an hour, like maybe like 30 minutes sometimes. You know it's just it really hurt. You know what I'm saying? And, um, me personally, I took my anger out. You know on, on things that. And, and people that I know I, I really, you know, regret and never should have done. Um, and I really think I should have, you know, reached out and, and talked to people. Um, you know, I, I think I said something a little bit about my teachers, to my teacher. Um, I didn't really speak to my parents about it at all, but I really think it's important that if you're experiencing, you know, pain or, you know, you're not right in the right mindset, you know what I'm saying? Um, just to go out and reach to reach out to people, and, you know what I'm saying, and get help. There's nothing wrong with getting help, you know what I'm saying, especially as a man, like, there's nothing wrong with getting help, you know what I'm saying. I remember sometimes I was in the room, I broke down in the room a couple times, you know what I'm saying, I broke down during practices. Um, my coaches, you know, asked me what's wrong, but like, no, nah, I'm good, like, don't worry about it, I'm good. You know, I'll just brush it off. Um, you know, that wasn't healthy at all, you know what I'm saying. I, I would stay silent to people that, you know, I really loved. I had love for it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't keep my family up to loop, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, um, especially having, you know, a one-year-old nephew looking up to you, you know, I really gotta, you know, step it up and make sure that I'm good. So, you know, he can he can see a good example, you know, when he grows up. Um, but now, you know, um, I just, you know, make sure I did, you know, self-care activities, you know, go, go out, you know, shopping. Um, you know, get your feet done, nails done. Listen, man, ain't nothing wrong getting your feet done. Ain't nothing wrong getting your feet done. You feel me? You know, getting a massage, you know, just taking, you know, little things, you know, um, little things that you, you think may not help, you know, usually the, the, you know, the things that actually help and, and improve your mental health and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. We made it to the end of the video. I mean, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? If you like more, you know, topics like this, you know, you know, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, you know, my experiences, make sure you drop them in the comments. Or if you follow me on Instagram at 3 kj you know, link will be in the description. Make sure you, you know, hit me in the DM um, and let me know, you know, what you want me to talk about, you know, what's important, you know, issues or, or uh, other things that, you know, you may be experiencing that, you know, I could probably relate to myself as well, you know, and give you all the best information as possible. But other than that, man, if you if you like the video, man, make sure you hit that like button, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey. Um, this is a fresh start and I'm looking forward to, you know, what comes in the future. So if you're here now, man, got a long way to go, but I appreciate you subscribe for a while, I appreciate you. But if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. You might as well, man, you're already watching the video, you might as well hit that subscribe button. You know, and come join the family, man. But other than that, man, that's it, man. It's your boy Dre, man. Be gone.